All right, guys, what's going on? Levi Trumbull reporting here. So guys, I cannot believe it, but yet again, I have to break another major story as it relates to a Sean Porter legal affair. Now, I'm just gonna come out and say it. Robin Shushko, who is the head of Frederick Community College Security, they call it Public Safety. She is the head of that department. She filed this morning a petition for a peace order against Maryland activist Sean Porter. Now, many of you guys will remember there was a claim by Mr. Porter last October, I believe it was, when he went to FCC with a sign that said F the draft. There was a claim from Mr. Porter that Robin Shushko assaulted him, that she took her hand and sort of swatted his cell phone in which he was recording her. Uh, and subsequently following that, he pressed charges against her for assault. And those charges were, would later go on to be dismissed. He also filed for a protective order against this individual. The protective order was denied. The judge said that he did not believe there was reasonable grounds that uh, this person would commit these acts again. So therefore, he denied Mr. Porter's request for a peace order. Uh, well, it looks like Robin is striking back. And today, this morning, she filed a peace order, an application for a peace order against Sean Porter. Now, I want to be clear uh, right now. I don't know when this matter is going to be set for a temporary hearing. I don't know when this matter is going to be set for a final hearing either. But with that, I want to bring you guys the allegations as set forth in this application for a peace order. In this five page, uh, almost sort of an affidavit layout, she writes that I am, she starts off, I should say, I am requesting the issuance of a peace order against Mr. Sean Porter as I have been the victim of ongoing cyberbullying, harassment, and threats that have endangered my safety and emotional well-being. And in this document, she goes on to list items from as far back as October, October 2023. The first thing she writes about is the fact that he appeared on October 5th with a sign that said F the draft. She talks about how she went out there in her official capacity and asked him if he would leave. He didn't want to leave. And that was when uh, there was uh, this incident where Mr. Porter claims that he was allegedly assaulted by her. She claims it was not. It was not that so cut and dry. She tells a different story. She talks about how she was just acting in her official capacity on that October 5th. The peace order application goes on to state another incident where it is alleged that harassing conduct took place uh, with an incident where uh, sticky notes, purple sticky notes were placed onto Sean Porter's Jeep. Perhaps some of you have seen that incident. Well, there was a claim, there was an allegation, a theory at the time that perhaps those sticky notes were placed on Mr. Porter's Jeep uh, by somebody, a faculty member of FCC, perhaps Robin. Um, now, I want to be clear, those allegations were never substantial. And what we know about that is that actually it appears that two nursing students in a scrubs type uniform went out and put those sticky notes on Mr. Porter's Jeep. So again, I want to be clear that uh, it doesn't appear that those allegations were ever substantial as it relates to the claim that perhaps it could have been uh, FCC staff involved in that. It goes on to talk about that incident laid out in this application. It goes on to state that uh, Mr. Porter allegedly left a voicemail and they have transcribed that voicemail right here. Apparently, uh, Mr. Porter left a voicemail to somebody uh, within Robin Shushko's department saying, this is Sean Porter. I wanted to make you aware that I am pressing charges against Robin Shushko for the attack two weeks ago and then for the subsequent criminal harassment of the post-it notes she put all over my vehicle before I left her 
and her following me around and staring at us while we were leaving. You guys had a cease and desist. Your security email received a copy of the cease and desist from my attorney prior to coming out there and it was to leave me the hell alone. You know there's multiple videos of her with ongoing harassment. She has no lawful purpose and no legal right to harass me about words on my sign on public property. Again, this is apparently words that Sean Porter left on a voicemail for uh, Robin. Later on in the peace order, it talks about how uh, Sean Porter filed a peace order against Robin and how she views that to be, I guess, harassing. And they also, she also talks about how he filed uh, for charges against her, second degree assault and harassment and how those charges were uh, Noel Prost by the state of Maryland, meaning they were uh, never fully uh, taken up by the state's attorney's office as charges to be considered, and they did not want to move forward on that. So again, these are more elements that she is claiming uh, as reasons that she needs protection. She needs a peace order against Sean Porter in this application. I want to state finally in this application, she states that uh, because the charges against her were uh, non-prosecuted, Sean Pope Porter posted a retaliatory video on 117.24 stating that he would be returning to my place of employment twice a week beginning February 6th and that the demonstrations would, quote, start back up. He again encouraged his followers to join him and invited them to call my work. And I wanna bring you the final paragraph of this application. She writes, these activities under the guise of the First Amendment have manifested in an increase in my concerns regarding potential physical harm and psychological distress. This situation is primarily uh, attributable to Mr. Porter's relentless pursuit and the subsequent reactions and threats he provokes and condones through his content. Notably, the calls made to my place of employment characterized by their offensive, vitriolic, and menacing content have been meticulously documented and duly reported to the Frederick Police Department as formal complaints, uh, as harassment slash annoying phone calls. And then she finally writes to conclude, this peace order is essential to protecting my safety and well-being, which have been affected by Sean Porter's actions. So she's saying that her physical well-being is at stake uh, with this situation. So. Guys, that is the application. Again, it's five pages. We're not gonna bring all of it to you, uh, but we did wanna summarize it there briefly. One of the things right off the bat that I think is going to be concerning to a judge in this application is that the majority of items she lists in this document are well over 30 days old. When you file a petition for a peace order, you're supposed to list things that happened within a 30 day time period. It does not appear that that is the case in this instance. It feels like, it seems like I should say that the majority of things are uh, well over 30 days old with the exception being the January 17th video that Mr. Porter posted on his YouTube page uh, where he talks about the fact that Miss Shushko was uh, non-prosecuted. Those criminal charges were non-prosecuted. Another thing that I wanna mention is that we did try to reach out for Mr. Porter as it relates to this situation. We were not able to get a hold of him. He, it appears as if he is on holiday uh, with Miss Charlotte Oftenbrink. I'm not 100% sure, but he's definitely up to something with Charlotte Often Brink. We are going to play you that phone call, and with that, we are going to close out the video. So again, guys, we don't know uh, what's gonna happen next. Sean Porter has not been served a copy of this document, and I have not even been able to get a hold of him for comment. Now, I just wanna remind everyone of one last thing, and that is this is not the first legal matter to arise, again, out of Frederick Community College. As you guys might remember, Sean Porter right now is actively also facing a criminal trespass charge for an incident that happened a few months back where uh, he was asked to leave. He did not leave. The crowd dispersed and he was charged with trespassing. So this is not the first legal situation to come out of FCC for Mr. Porter. So. 
Uh, what happens next, I couldn't quite tell you, but this is today's breaking news as it relates to yet another legal action that has come against Mr. Sean Porter of Hagerstown, Maryland. So with that, guys, we'll take you to the phone call that we put into Mr. Porter earlier, and we'll talk to you soon. You've reached Sean Porter. I'm currently out of town. Charlotte and I will return on Monday, the 29th of January. If you have an emergency, call 911 or some shit because I couldn't help you anyway. Have a great day. Hey, Sean, what's going on? It's Levi. I'm just giving you a call because uh, it appears that Robin Shushko, the individual who works at FCC, it appears she has filed a peace order against you, and I wanted to see if you had a moment to speak about that with me on the phone. At this point, I am in possession of that, so if you would like to provide comment on the story that we're doing for that, you can give me a call back here, but otherwise, enjoy your, uh, your extended vacation, your road trip, your out-of-town getaway, whatever it is you're up to. Enjoy that with Charlotte. Hope everything goes well with her. And uh, with that, I'll talk to you. Take it easy.